Mum lived at home, dad worked every day. So he worked, what, five, six days a week. And uh, mum was just, in a way, a housewife, really. She was there just to look after the kids completely. Um, which, I mean, was probably perfect scenario for a child, really, because you've got a constant, like, caring and looked after. Um, but then, gradually, as we got older, I would say, to, in an aspect of like nine to ten years it kind of went from being like that to being more money was an issue and there was more stress under how much people were earning and that was I think that was just completely because of what my dad was doing he was doing a trade that was dying and it was pretty probably pretty hard to see that something that you've done all your life and do try and I think in aspect that probably took a toll on the relation on, on it all um, one thing that was a huge positive out of my relationship with her was probably the fact that she was so passionate of the things that I did and, and in an aspect probably even more passionate than I was uh, so in an aspect that like, so from the age of like, like seven I went to, I went to dra I did drama and I went to did plays around Preston like, around Lancashire actually really um, and at times I would really hate doing it. Mum was always quite pushed, not in a horrible aspect, but very pushed to be like, come on, like, you enjoy these things, so why not go and do them in a way? Um, and that was great, it was great. Like, and I think the only reason that like, probably where I am today is because of that, like, kind of like, that push. But I think, <coughs> The, 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 the transition from this very positive life at home to a very, not necessarily negative, but a very different outlook of life really kind of changed, I would say, in a matter of two days. Uh, we went for a birthday, we all wrapped up with presents and stuff. The nurse was like, oh, I'll go and get it for you. Uh, she just came out with a a little red lady, red ladybird. That's all she came out with. She's like, she doesn't want to see any of you. I'm not gonna lie to you, she's not a fan of you all right now. But she just wants to give this to all of her. She gave it me. And I was just like, I was like, this isn't what, I was like, I need to get that in my brain before anything else. I was just like, this isn't, this isn't the person that like, I know and I love because I've not grown up with, with that. The relationship now with, with mum is so different, but very similar at the same time. Like the conversations from day to day that we have are very similar to what we used to have. Like we used to talk, like, like, like mum, me and mum were very like chatty people to each other and it was nice. Like, uh, but now it's, it's not in an aspect of like general conversation, it's normal in an aspect of like life. She seems to take her opportunity when she sees me to talk about how she feels, and and and, and it's nice. Like I'm, I'm 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 happy to do that. I think as soon as you realise that, like when when someone is ill like that, that they, <coughs> that they are a different person. It's not their normal train of thought. Then. Understandable for them, for them to do that in a way. Um, 